Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick video on this Robot 12 asset that's available at the marketplace. It's currently it's selling for about forty dollars. I I actually think it would be worth it, depending what your project is. I think this is a real creative solution that they've come up with for the face on it because the face is customizable with different messages and so I just thought it was kind of a unique way for a robot to communicate or add expressiveness to a robot but you can also keep an eye on it it might come on sale I actually bought it on sale it was 50% off so I got it I got it for 20 bucks which I thought was fairly reasonable and so I just wanted to kind of walk you through how I got it up and running and this is where I'm at right now is I've got this little animation going on here. I recorded, you might have seen it on the intro. I'll just start from scratch to show you what you can do with it and there's a lot more you can do with it that I'm showing you here and this is just how I got it running. So I don't know if there's other ways to get it running too. So anyway, we're just gonna go into new project and I'm gonna create a blank project and we'll just go create. And I guess I'll say what I just did. And usually I don't buy too many plugins, but when I look at different ones, I'll see something if it really meets a need. And so I was trying to get away from the Unreal 4 mannequins and the Mixamo mannequins. So I was looking for kind of a robot that I could use for different kind of stories, but I wanted something that was kind of had a little bit of expressiveness to it. And it just, you know, for $20, I thought it was a good deal. So what we're going to do is I got to go in here to the marketplace, in my library, and add it to my project. So I have it down here. It's called Robot Robot 12. So I noticed it, it seemed like it wasn't that. It says it's compatible with 5.2. 5, 5 See, so we'll add to project here. It says it's compatible but, oh wait, I guess it's a different one. Let me see, uh, add the project. It must be this one, project six, okay. I wanna start fresh, so. But it says it's compatible with 5.2, but it uses a UE4 skeleton, so I don't know if that creates an issue. But anyway, the, here's the folder down here. And if we click in here, you'll see there's a blueprint. But if I drag the robot onto the scene, and let's see, I gotta go to it, my, um, where is it here, world settings, right? We're looking for, my thing is all messed up down here. Holy cow. Uh, we're looking for our, our game mode here. It has this third person game mode. So if we come in here and look for that, into third person blueprints. See how it has this third person character. But if we click on it, you'll look, we have, it looks like the inputs are not connected here. So I didn't want to mess with all that. You know, I think I could set up a new, the whole, you know, the input action, that whole thing. I, I don't think it's, that's why they say it's compatible with 5.2, but I, I don't know if it if it truly is. So, but there's an easy fix. So we're just gonna just go add, and we're gonna go into import, add feature here, and we'll add the third person here. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna hijack this rig. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click into, we're gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and delete this from our scene right here. Okay, so what we do is we're going to double click into here and it see how it has the enhanced input local player subsystem already. It's got the, what do they call it, the mapping context in here already. So it's all ready to go. But what we got to do is come in here and just swap this mesh out for our, our robot mesh. Oh, well, not the not this, the, the skeletal mesh here. So there should be the robot 12 mesh right there. So we just swap it out. That's all we have to do there. And now if I compile and it compiles and saves with no errors, I can go ahead and dock this. And then if I drag my BP third person on, it's, it's that rig now, right? And if I 
I got to switch the game mode here to the BP third person. So we just swapped out the mesh is all we did. And I hit play and see I'm good to go with that character running around, that Robot 12 now. So I've got my Robot 12. Everything's normal except it's this rig. Now the only other issue is if we want to we want to adjust these parameters these the face and all that is adjustable but they come in as materials and i've swapped out the rig now so that's kind of an issue right so what we can do there is just convert our materials into instances and then we can adjust our our character here well i, I dragged a mesh on i think here too so did i drag a ro the robot on here let me hit play again. Yeah, because it spawns in. So I don't need this because it spawns in in the game mode. So I don't need this one on the on the scene. So that's what that is. So now if I hit play, it's just this character now. Okay. There we go. We just want this one to deal with. One's enough. Although we might need one on there just as a reference. So let's just bring her on as a, a reference only and then we'll delete her once we get our, our mesh uh, set up. So let me F, I'm hitting F, get up there. I gotta slow my camera speed down here real fast. Okay, so let's just come down here and take a second look at her, get a, get kind of framed up on her. All right, so if we go into the skeletal mesh, I mean, we come in here we have our materials here and I can browse to this asset. There's a body one and a face one and they're both, but see how they're materials. So what I'm going to do is here they are right here. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'm going to click on the first one and convert it to a material instance. And I'm going to call this M I robot 12 body and then i'm going to on this other one i'm going to right click i mean and i'm going to change this to mi underscore robot 12 face so now we have two material instances now i should be able to double click into this and these are the parameters that we can make editable so i'll just click all of these four of them and this is the one that changes the the face and all that. So you see the different the eyes and stuff. So if we we can change that all here, this all becomes editable as a material instance. So there's that. We can change that. And then if we come into the body, the robot body, it also has some parameters here. And all we have to do is just we can play around with all the different textures that are available on the body itself. And there's quite a few. So there's that many of those. And then those are just like any material instance. So I can just drag these off here, come over here and just play around with these values like camouflage or, you know, whatever it is. I have to save all this too, by the way. So whatever it is that I want to adjust, I can adjust on my character. So I'm going to go ahead and I should spawn in now again. Oh, I have my mesh on there. So let's see if her face changed. Let's see, where are we here? She's got the circle on there. See that on her face? She's got the circle. So what we can do if I go to the material instance of that. Oh. The other thing I have to do is swap it out. So I got to come in here and change it from the material. That's what was the problem. So I've got to change it here and go into MI underscore robot. And that's the body. Change the body to a material instance and then change the face here to a material MI underscore face. Oh, no, robot face. That's sorry about that. That's what I needed to do. And then now if i go in there now if i go into the level here see how she's changing so if i double click on see how the face changed so now if i double click in here and just pull this off 
I can adjust these parameters. See how I can change her face from her eyes to different expressions. More that's more angry right there. And here they it looks like they because they have these this one, I believe this face one I believe is probably the one for the TV screen, the monitor pattern. So you can have her actually playing back something there. And that's that's all really super cool. It's all super cool. Question mark, you know, and you just adjust everything from there. So now if I hit play, I have this new, she's all tricked out in a new kind of outfit and material and it's all adjustable. So anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful. So the bottom line is, just to summarize, just bring in your BP third person character, switch the game mode to BP third person character, swap out the skeletal mesh, and then change the materials from material to material instances and swap those out. And if you do all that, then you've got a fully customized rig and a whole new character and a whole new game. So you to get away from that unromantic and, and all that. That's all I have for today. Take care. Have a great day and I'll talk to you next time.